Good morning, folks. It's Nova Day. If you haven't heard the big news, it's bigger than the sun. Remember when they named the Nova Sea Landers rover the Micro Nova rover? This is better. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours was mostly quiet until the end when a flash and plasma motion is seen at the northern active region. On the line between M9 and X1 class solar flare, but with the smallest of plasma ejections. These impulsive flares don't make big CMEs, if you'll recall, even when they creep up to X-class range, unlike the CMEs coming off the far side of the sun this week. And so we're at the Doppler Gram, looking at not just those three incoming spots in the lead, but their trailing umbra at active regions as well. The sunspots on the disk aren't all that unlike the most mature among people, tending to be quieter, making less waves. Even if its flaring isn't producing major CMEs at this time, their magnetic character fairly weak with a lack of major mixing, we still have to be monitoring the sunspot group as it crosses the Earth-facing disk. It is directly facing Earth today. The top quake in several weeks hit Nicaragua overnight. Luckily, it was about 70 miles offshore, so the coastal communities were spared the worst of the effects. And we're heading into the Nova Science, starting with one explaining fast blue optical transients, which they now say they believe are the interaction between the Nova jet and the surrounding material forming a hot cocoon that then slowly releases that heat while including an optical glow. Interesting subject, interesting visuals as well, but of course, we teased the top story already, and it is a tease in itself. After being told for years there was no such thing as a micronova, after being told we were all crazy, despite it plainly being in the peer-reviewed literature and its physical mechanisms working for any star, including the sun, and after they named the new moon lander Micronova, now we're watching astronomical reality play out at the exact power level we've predicted, using the same mechanism of material dumped onto a star. Their favorite pathway is a binary being consumed, but any encounter with too much dust or gas or plasma will do the trick. The paper is accepted and heading to the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Let's start with some of the numbers. They say micronova events are a million times weaker than classical nova. That's just about exactly what we had in our 2020 chart from the book, The Next End of the World. In there, you saw the plethora of discovered nova that are tiny, ones with no binary, including a poor little star that wandered into a dust cloud and exploded. In our YouTube video called You Don't Know Nova, we went over all their new discoveries and what they would continue to find, as they have today. Indeed, this will work for the sun. The solar micronova is the only way to explain all the evidence that comes every 12,000 year disaster cycle. The magnetic effects, the impactors as pieces of the nova shell, the ancient stories of the black sun, and the nova level isotopes found in rocks, microtectites, bones, and petrified wood. Folks, you should see the list of professors, NASA scientists, ESA scientists, IPS, and JAXA scientists in my email inbox this morning. Gonna be a long day. We greatly appreciate your support. If you need to get one of our two original books, i do it now. The pre-orders of the new text are arriving to us at the end of the month. The order is 75% spoken for, and nothing is stopping or slowing down to wait for the incredulous or apprehensive. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.